we are going to be discussing candy from the 90s and early 2000s. Okay, a lot of these are iconic. A lot of these have been discontinued and for good reason. Okay, our categories are the taste of childhood. We have classic and then we also had, I've only had enough change for this. Because, you know what I'm saying, if you were my age bracket, you know what I'm saying, you had a little corner store, you would scrape together change, you you know, be in the street, you would look over the curb, you know, you would get together dimes, nickels, and have just enough, like, I only had enough for one strawberry shortcake roll. You know what I mean? So you only had enough for some fruities. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't really hate it, but, you know, this is all that you could afford right now on your little kid's salary. And then we just have plain no. Like, we just, we we don't like it, it's... Just no for us. And then we have should stay in the past. Like, this sh should have never been created. Ever. Ever, ever. Strictly candies that I feel like are synonymous. Is that a good word? With the 90s and the early 2000s. So things like chocolate bars, I really don't feel like are, you know what I mean, with our childhood. Even something like airheads, I feel like. I don't know. Like, I just don't think of that. So this may not be everything, but this is just what we have. Keep in mind that we also can't have a list with a hundred candies on it. So this is what we're going to be starting uh, to work with. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I think baby bottle pops are the taste of childhood. I don't know what it was with the early 2000s and the 90s where, like, things were baby themed <laughs> like you know what i mean like from like britney spears like baby baby like you know what i mean she had a very like little kid image like we love the rugrats um and then also people would just wear necklaces with pacifiers on them do y'all remember that uh, yeah baby bottle pop baby bottle pop you can oh i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to sing that theme song absolutely not nah I have chupas. I have I didn't put chupas um and blow pops. Pause. Cause I felt like they're kind of the same. And to me, they're both I feel like they're both a classic. You know what I mean? I feel like uh, all lollipops are lollipops. And I feel like already it's a classic candy. And I feel like a blow pop slash chupa is very 90s, early 2000s. You know what I mean? And I don't know if y'all are old enough. Do y'all remember when Chupas had, like, collabs with things? And it was the fucking uh, Spice Girl lollipops? I don't want that to pop up on screen. <laughs> God forbid that pops up on screen, yo. Ooh, God forbid. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? I, okay, this, this is safe. This is safe. Let's play with something safe. I don't know if y'all remember this. I, Chupa, and they were Spice Girl lollipops. And they had pictures of all the Spice Girls in the lollipops. And it was so fucking cool. And you can literally, like, pick who you wanted. Y'all need to bring this back. Honestly, you know what the K-pop people need to do? They need to bring this back. Imagine if they put BTS on lollipops. Imagine if they put Stray Kids all lollipops. 50,000 for 20, almost 30 year old lollipops is, <laughs> that's dirty work. But bubblegum wasn't that good on a blow pop. Let's be honest. It really wasn't that fucking good. You know, we do have Scooby snacks on the list. And honestly, that is the taste of childhood. And you know which one my favorite one is? It's the opaque blue one. That one right there. That one's my favorite one. I don't even know if they all taste different. Do they have individual flavors? Y'all know how, like, Fruit Loops, like, in our head, they all have different flavors, but they really don't. <laughs> They're all the same flavor, but in our mind, we're like, oh, this is green apple, this is pineapple, this is cherry. It's like, no, it's not. What about y'all? And I don't know if y'all ever had these, and there's no way that they could sell something like this now. But the candy cigarettes? They had me feeling grown as fuck. When I tell you, yo, I would sit, when I would get back from the corner store and bitch, I would sit on, on, on my stoop. 
Bitch, like, I was really going through something. Either I would play like I was really going through something. Because I that's what I would see adults do. You know, my biggest problem was, you know what I mean? My skip it wasn't counting the numbers no more. That was, you know what I mean? Well, you know what I mean? Bitch, if you, you see your friend, oh, you got a cigarette. And you, and you, and bitch, and if you was the friend with them, you would really, like, beat the pack like this. Like, you was really trying to, like, get the cigarette out free for here. Oh, thank you, thank you. <sighs> bitch, it's candy. Why are we doing this? And they had the cigars, too. Y'all remember this? Shit. <laughs> And I don't even know what they were made out of. I really don't even know what they were made out of. But I feel like they tasted good. And you know the bad kid in me? I would like eat them into a point. Like it was a shank. <laughs> like, I would eat it till it was like a shank, yo. Do y'all remember the candy that you could spray in your mouth? There wasn't, like, I'm not talking about a specific brand. But there was like the blue raspberry, the green apple would be like... Bitch, you would literally spray like this. And that was your candy. Oh my god, it's setting spray. <laughs> I don't want setting spray on my camera. Okay. I feel like it was such a fun candy. But was it good? Pause on this whole motion. Mmm. You would... <laughs> Bitch, you would go, like, it was like, you might as well be spraying Windex. I don't know what was in them little bottles. Sugar was really cracking in 2000. You know what I'm saying? They had it in all different forms. Pa they was cutting it in powder, liquid, sprays. <laughs> they had it all different ways for us. Then you fill it back up with juice. See, that's what... That's why I fuck with y'all. Like, it's something that you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, the little spray. Because it was more of a toy. A lot of our candy was toys. And that goes into exactly what you were saying. These fucking wax lips were trifling. A lot of our candy, now that I'm thinking of it, was very, like, gimmicky and toy-ish. I don't, I really don't eat a whole lot of candy now. I mean, I do eat candy, but... It was very toyish. You know what I mean? These lips were nasty as shit. Can we all agree on that? They were terrible, yo. I could still Oh, they were it was literally wax. Like it wasn't good. And what even was the fun part of this? Just biting into it and having wax lips? Like I don't like what was the point of this? A pure crack uh sugar delivery. And that is pixie sticks. I feel like pixie sticks are classic. I would still eat a pixie stick now. I feel like it was a lot of our candy, like we were saying, is just pure uncut sugar. They weren't even trying to like make it a lollipop or, or oh, a cool chocolate bar filled with, no, they were like, we're going to give you sugar in a straw. Literally just give you colored sugar in a straw. I don't even think it, there was, uh, weren't they, I think they were supposed to be different flavors, but honestly, I really don't even remember them tasting different. By the time you were two sticks in, pause, you were already on a sugar high that you were just like, yo, you, you got another, you got another stick? You got another stick? Crazy. Let's go to the cream savers. Pause. I also feel like these are a classic candy, yo. They only had them out in, like, the 2000s, and I feel like everybody loved them. And I'm pretty sure that they had them in, like, different flip Now, like, the strawberry bussin'. Everybody loves the strawberry. That I also feel like that I should Google off-screen, because Googling cream saver is insane they had orange which no i don't remember orange um and then it looks like they had raspberry i feel like i i, I can only really remember the strawberry memes of these candies it's like yo what why did they ever get rid of these and for real why did y'all ever get rid of them sometimes the old folk candy be hitting though yo i may be in the minority i did not care for whoppers 
I did not fucking like these. I hated these. I did not like them. Y'all tell me where y'all think, because I would put them in the no category. Because they weren't necessary, uh, like, they wouldn't necessary. they aren't nasty. It's literally just, like, chocolate and, like, what is that, like, wafer or something like that? I wouldn't say that they're nasty, but, like, I don't like them. I just don't like them. Yeah, yup, it's the texture. Oh, uh, thank you. The last candy on the stand at every movie theater. You know what? Ella, look, you ain't lying. You ain't lying. It do be the last candy. If you go in there at the, like, the end of, like, before the rotation, you know what I'm saying, at an odd time before they, like, you know, put more candy out, that is true. I don't know if y'all remember this, but they had Skittles bubblegum. Now, I really don't want to judge the candy on how long the flavor would last, <laughs> But because a lot of these candies would not last super long <laughs> back in the 90s and the early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like these did last. And I feel like they are... Wait, y'all don't like them? What? I thought they were good. Dots. <laughs> um, they... Uh, you know what, this, these, these were something that I never asked for. But if they were in my trick-or-treat bag, I was like, alright. You know what I'm saying? It's sugar. They really weren't, uh, were they nasty? Because I feel like these were, were these like, when y'all ate this, wasn't this the type of shit where you could taste the dye? Dyed sugar. And you could taste... You could taste the dye in it. You know what I'm talking about? I know y'all know what I'm talking about. You threw them away every time? D exactly. You could taste the dye. Dots from Wish. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Because fruit stripe gum is the taste of childhood. The flavor lasted all but 10 seconds. But that 10 seconds was bliss. And the little zebra that was on it, I think he, like, did sports. I think the wrapper was super cool around each piece of gum. Oh, yo, it was the juiciest 10 seconds that gum could be. And it disappeared and you were just chewing on a tire. But it's classic. It's above classic. It is. The, I can still taste it now. It is the taste of childhood. Fruit stripe gum forever in our parts, okay? Um, bubble jug? Hmm. I feel like bubble jug is a classic. I feel like it's a classic. It was kind of a little bit hard to chew, but it was fire. Like, the delivery was fire. It's in a little jug. You can carry it around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember, like, once you were done with it, like, niggas would put change in it. Like, you would put dimes and shit like that in it. Like, <laughs> I don't know what we was doing, y'all. But, like, the, the powder would kind of mess you up when you got a lot of powder. And it's, like, I, I feel like it's it's a classic 90. It, it was good, though. It was good. It, yes, it was more gimmicky. But I feel like it's definitely a classic candy. Butterfinger BBs. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I enjoy Butterfingers. And I did like Butterfinger BBs. I feel like they deserve to be in the classics. I remember, yo, when they was out at the movie theater, you was, because when you go to the movie theater, you get Butterfingers. You know what I'm saying? Like, who don't, like, y'all don't like Butterfingers? Y'all don't like Butterfingers? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I hate when they would get stuck in my teeth, but they're good. I'm like hurt right now. What are y'all talking about? Let's see what we could do. Now, Fun Dip... Is it a classic or is it the taste of childhood? Because when I think of that little white crack stick, that joint is kind of, is it nasty? Ugh. But the dip, yo, I would just like, ugh, pause. All right, we'll put fun dip in the taste of childhood, okay? Um, push pops, I don't give a fuck about what y'all are saying. This is... The perfect example of 
90s 2000 candy where it is pure sugar, it's gimmicky, it's a toy, and it's good. They were good. You could save it for later. You know what I'm saying? You could run that joint un under the water, especially if you was outside and you was na nasty ass kid. See, this is why we don't got all the, you know what I'm saying? We don't be getting sick like that. You know what I'm saying? Because we would eat out the hose. You know what I'm saying? If you had a little, fu you know, you would wash it off with the fucking hose, bitch. And then if you really wanted to be a little criminal, you would eat this joint until it was like a little shank. You know what I'm saying? A ring pop? You know how many times I've been proposed to with a ring pop? I gotta say, it's the taste of childhood. Yeah, kiss the ring, bitch. Bitch, I would have them on all him. You, may, you making me an offer I can't refuse. You know, what if, you know, you've come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. And you giving me an offer that I can't refuse. Because it's the day of my daughter's wedding. Now, what can I do for you on the day that I can't refuse because it's the day of my daughter's wedding. That's how I felt. You know what I'm saying? Like, you make me an offer I can't refuse. I don't know about y'all, but... Uh, okay, I do. I have two versions. I've These are both Fireball. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but I hate Fireball. I hate Fireball alcohol. I hate Fireball candy. I hate Fireball gum. That it is the complete misuse of cinnamon that 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 angers me. I could tolerate this. Like if somebody would give this to me, I'll eat it because I'm a greedy bitch. But I don't really, I don't like it. Now the hubba, did y'all ever have the hubba bubba, um, band aids? The hubba bubba band aids, and it came in the fucking, um, the can. Y'all remember that? It came in the can and you would, uh, do the lid. It's a like, oh man. We, add this. Add this at the end. Add this to the end. I'll have, I'll have, bitch, I gotta save this. Can I save this? David, it was portable. And it, like, little container portable shit. I'm seeing a trend. I don't know why we liked shit like that, but, yeah. Keep, keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind, yeah. Sixlets, I... I fucking hate these. I don't know how y'all feel about them, but I absolutely hate them. I don't like them. M&M's. I don't like cho I don't like candy coated chocolate. Like I'll eat M&M's, but like I'm not going to spit it out. Like I'm going to eat it, but it's like, ugh, I don't really care for them. I don't know how y'all feel about them, but I didn't care for these. They really didn't do it for me. They really didn't taste that good to me. Juju's No. Th these are like so chewy. Y'all were talking about stick in your teeth. I don't know how you're getting these out in between your teeth. And they weren't even good. They weren't even sweet. They were just like, they weren't even wax. They were just like, ugh. Mm -mm. Candy necklace is definitely a classic. Did it taste good? Uh, just because of the fact that it's sugar. It was portable. It was an accessory at that. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitches would honestly, like, they wouldn't even eat it sometimes. Like, unless they was, like, gonna be done with it. Like, I remember bitches just wearing, like, y'all don't understand. Like, there was, there was, like, candy jewelry. There was, like, candy jewelry that, like, you could either make or, like, this. They would have bracelets, which is insane that we were fucking wearing candy and then eating it like th that if you want to talk about some pre shit this is it wearing candy necklaces like and then like really eating it afterwards like I, I don't I don't know what we were thinking but I feel like it's definitely a, a classic candy thing oh y'all may not like me y'all may not like me I'm gonna put the Krabby Patty Gummy in Classic. Because when I saw it, I always wanted it. And I would always get it. But did I really ever enjoy it? No. But y'all are lying if y'all are saying, if you actually think about if it tasted good. It didn't taste good. Especially when you got to the green lettuce. 
That was the hardest fucking part to chew through. The buns were the funnest part to eat. Pause. Oh, God! I saved this one for last because I, I don't know. Cause you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I already, I looked at some of my DMS and y'all had, some of y'all had very visceral reactions to this shit. The wonder ball. Okay. The epitome of nineties, early two thousands candy. It had, uh, characters that we loved in it on it. But this was one of the nastiest shits to come out of our childhood. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. The candies inside of it, I get it. It's dope. The candies inside were always characters from whatever show the Wonder Ball was the theme of. But did they not taste like Flintstone vitamins? Let's not lie. The chocolate was nasty. Okay, the chocolate was on, like, Russell Stover timing. Wonder Balls are back. So if y'all really want to go and get a Wonder Ball, you know what? I'm going to try to find one tomorrow. Cleanse your palate, have, a, have a, a tonic beforehand, and then eat this shit and tell me, be like, wow, it was all a lie. I feel like everything is where it should be. I feel like even if we disagreed on some things... We came to a happy medium besides the Wonder Ball. Y'all just gonna have to trust me on that.